Jill! Remember one thing. Stunt riding is not a crime. That's right, sir. Morning, everybody. It's a nice, bright, sunny, cold Arizona morning here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Ryan Cruzy. This is Cruzy Originals, and today I've decided to dress in all tan. Not on purpose. I'm like a big fucking tan Gumby today. Uh, today we're going to do a cartridge how to rebuild a cartridge front end on a Dyna. This was going to be off of our O2 FXDX, the green bike that we've been building that we're going to sell. We're rebuilding the cartridge front end on it. I already did the other leg that's already done. I've got this one left over, so I'm going to give you guys a walk through all that shit how to bleed the cartridges how to disassemble it how to put it back together it's a little tricky you gotta have some tools for it but it uh really really good front end when they're set up right first thing you got to start with we're going to remove this cap this is the preload adjuster right here this guy sets your spring your spring tension you want to back this guy all the way off oh fucking crank it tight just set it there all the way off we're going to put this guy all the way in bottom out the dampening and you've got rebound at the bottom now we're going to break this cap loose i've got an old triple tree right here that's broke off and i just bolt them into the table i've got a 49 mil over here a 39 over here and i got part of a 41 millimeter over there for doing forks i know there's fancy tools out there you can buy but why buy them when you come up on shit like this we're going to take it over to the table and do a little tearing apart i'm gonna put some gloves on Meanwhile, you guys can get these sweatshirts at cruisyoriginals.com. Death or glory. It's the same old story. All right, this is unscrewed. To take this out of the fork leg, if you haven't seen that or don't know how, there's a bolt in the bottom. Pop it out, there's a little retaining clip when you pop the dust shield off, pop that out and then just rip it out of the fork leg. That's all you gotta do, it's pretty simple. Here's the cartridge, we're gonna lay that guy right there. So I'm gonna cross hatch this thing, I'm gonna go up and down like this. Pretty tight pattern. Rotate it. Go all the way top and bottom. You only need it in the ceiling surface, but at least make it look uniform. This will help your seals seal to the tube. You're almost there. Oh man, see how she's all uniformed? Can I get any little blemishes or any of that shit out of there? Wipe that guy down really good. All right, we're gonna slide this guy back in the tube now. I've got some Bell Ray 20 weight fork oil. We run 20 weight in these, stock spring. If you need a spring, I'd say Race Tech spring, no gold valve, none of that. Just put a Race Tech spring in it, and it is phenomenal. We're gonna put 11 ounces in. There's a measurement from the top. You want to fill it up and then fill the oil to the measurement, but I've done a shitload of these and I've poured them, measured them out and then poured them out to see how much it is and it's 11 ounces every single time. You can see that shit. Made it in the garbage can, bounced out of the garbage can onto the floor. I can't shoot a basket for nothing. Is it 11 too with regular <clears throat> 39 or no? Yep, they're all 11. I showed them how to measure it. And then we dumped them out and checked it and I showed him like, look, it's 11, it's 11. And that's fully dumped, like drain everything. Take a little lube, put some lubricants. Oil that thing up real, real nice. I'm gonna take this guy, the fork leg, and I'm gonna lubricate the inside of this thing. Just so that guy goes down in there nice and neat. Just rode around with my finger, put a whole bunch in there. It'll work its way down in there itself. This is your, your stop. So normally you just have that regular old cup that sits on the end. It's different in the DX cartridges. It's valved. And this little guy that goes right here, this valve is underneath it. So this guy sits like this, and then this controls the amount of valving and fluid that flows through this guy. So first thing, we're going to put this guy in, actually. These are powder-coated. I might need to clean this a little bit. 
So this guy goes in and out like this. He. So I'm gonna screw him in. And I'm gonna have to go get some tools. You have to finesse the shit out of this. It's a bit of a bitch, and if you don't take your time and you don't do it right, you can really f this up, and you can't get these anymore, so if you do f one of these up, you're really screwed. So, I'm gonna thread it in like this, nice and neat. That guy's not gonna move, are you? See how this moves around? You kinda just gotta get it till she lines up and starts screwing in nicely. There she goes. All right, now that she's lined up, I'm gonna back it out a little bit. I'll put a little bit of pipe dope just on the end of this. Only out here on the end, because you don't want it getting inside where the valving and shit is. So just, this is just to seal the edge up a little bit. All right, see, it stopped, but I still have a gap. So I need to turn this guy. Oh, she ain't gonna turn, so I'm gonna have to back it off. Work it down a little bit, turn this guy down a little more. See if she seats. Turn this guy down a little more. Turn this guy a little more here. Nice and snug, and then there we go, baby. Some motherfuckers are hard on the fingers. Okay. Got oil all up in this thing, all up in this guy. Now we're gonna slide this guy down. I'm gonna dip him in fluid. This is a very tight fit, so you gotta make sure it goes in real straight and the seal doesn't get fucked off. Just like that. I'm gonna take this guy, drive her on home. Take this dude here. I'm gonna put some pipe dope down around the bottom, away from this hole. You don't want that getting plugged up at all either because this is also part of the valving. This guy is a uh, 5/16 Allen. Drive him on up in there. There's some torque specs in your service manual. You should probably look those up. That thing's clutched at 22 foot pounds, so it works pretty good. Right, I'm gonna screw this guy back on here just to keep things safe for now. First thing is the bushing. I'm gonna dip it in fluid. Drop it on there. Retainer ring, this has a sharp side that's it's stamped and the one side that's rounded edges. Round goes down. I drive that shit home until she hits. Hear the tone change, it got sharp, went from dull to sharp, that means I'm sealed. She's down all the way. Seal, the top has numbers on it. Right there, a little tiny one, you probably can't even see it. This is the bottom, top. Put some fluid on the inside seal. And then I'm gonna very, very carefully work it over the top of this guy. Slide her down. Give her a beating with this.
retainer ring. Shove her down in there like that first. And just drop this guy out. She's locked in. I'm going to throw the dust shield on now. That's that part of it. Okay, step two. Let's unscrew this thing. Now that we're all assembled, we got to bleed the cartridge, which is the fun part. Let's slide this guy down like so. You're going to need one of these. This is a cartridge compressor. This is from Racetech. If you can't get one, call the shop. Trent can get you dialed in on this. We are a dealer for Racetech. I think Motion Pro makes one too. I'm sure there's a few people out there, but you have to have one of these to do this job. Really, there's no other way around it. There's, you can <laughs> try and manhandle it, but it is a son of a bitch. So see these holes? And then you're not going to crank these things in there. You're just going to get them in there just so they're in the holes. You don't want them touching the rod on the inside. What the fuck, really? I mean, how many times I gotta guess at this? All right, now I'm just gonna crank this thing down. You're also gonna need a piece of hose. They make a specialty tool for this to screw onto this and hold it down, but I just use a piece of like quarter inch hose, fuel line. Works out pretty good. These, when you screw down the preload, it pushes these pins down on this washer, and that's what creates more preload. That's why you want to back this all the way off so you can get these guys out of the way. 17 millimeter goes right here. 14 on the bottom. Just gonna break them loose. And I like to take the bottom of this nut and wedge it on this thing so the rod can't fall down. You do not want the rod to fall down. I repeat, you do not want the rod to fall down. This thing will go shooting through the air. This is your dampening rod. Very important to be careful with that because if you fuck it up, you're screwed. You can't get any parts for this front end at all anymore. They don't exist. So now I'm going to take this hose. I'm going to shove it on these threads. So I can keep a hold of this guy. Which this will keep this thing from shooting off like a fucking rocket when I back the thing off. So watch your face too, Jig. This gets kind of hairy from time to time. See what I mean? <laughs> Alright, now that's loose. Take this guy, a little washer, spacer, set him over here in order. Spring's gonna come out. See how the spring has tighter coils in the bottom and they're real open up here and they're real tight down at the bottom? Tight coils always go down. Now let's bring this bad boy over here. I'm gonna pull the hose off for a little bit. I'm gonna thread this all the way to the top so I got something to grab with my pliers and not hurt the threads. Drop it back down in there. Everything's capped off. Now see the tube down in there? I'm gonna pour fluid straight on that tube. Kinda helps, you know, preload it with fluid a little bit. Gonna bubble down now. I'm gonna pinch this thing with my long pliers, bring it up and down. This is how you prime the cartridge. Give that some pumps, give this some pumps now. Help get the fluid down in there. Um, pour some more in. I'm going to prime this guy again. I'm starting to get some resistance. See the fluid come out of the top of the tube there? You want to do it till you got a steady flow of fluid out of the top. It pops some air bubbles, get them all out of there. See they're still blurping? All right now I'm going to do the same thing again with the tube. Get rid of as much air as possible. Let's 
I'm gonna hit this guy one more time. Whoa! She's a fucking squirter! I'm gonna finger blast this dude till she's pumping good, strong fluid out of there. All right, now we're gonna pull this guy back up here. Let the fluid drain down a bit. I'm gonna screw this lock nut all the way down as far as she goes, just till it seats. Drop the hose back on. Make sure that guy's down. Back over to the compressor. Drop a spring on over your hose. Remember tight coils go down. One washer. Retainer with the holes on the bottom. Oh, back up here. Oh man, I think I'll pump some fluid on you too. You gotta be careful. Top washer, most important one. Don't forget it. Don't forget any of them, but if you don't got that one, you're fucked. All right, we're gonna get her in the holes. Pull this guy up. We have to guide all this shit so it doesn't get caught up and stuff. Can't just go cranking it down and expect it to work perfectly. I gotta work that nut through all these guys here. Okay, we're gonna lock it back in. Make sure she's down all the way. Set it on this guy so it stays in place. Now back to this guy. We're gonna move him in there very carefully. It's a tight fit and it's got fluid. It's gonna have some compression. That's a well bled up cartridge right there. Now this is your dampening right here. You wanna have this guy adjusted all the way down. All this does is move this rod up and down in this and it creates a gap down at the bottom. It opens and closes the bottom. So you want it all the way down. Set this guy on here and screw him down. It's gonna screw down just till that rod seats. You'll feel it touch. Stop right there. Bring your lock nut back up. We're going to lock this guy in place. Now, this is important. When you lock this nut in place, do not turn this because this is seated where right where it's supposed to be. You're going to lock the nut. The nut is the only thing that's going to turn. She's tight. Now, lift it up and over. You can slide it down into place to make this part easier. Back it off now all the way. Crank it out. Come back over to this guy. Having something like this, I'll use this side. Having something like this in your shop, it's very, very handy. We do a lot of suspension here, so pretty much. This whole area of the shop is set up for suspension. This is an inch and three eighths too, if you're wondering what size this is. It's actually metric, but I have an inch and three eighths wrench that fits, so I use it. I'm just gonna snug this guy down. Next, put a rag on the floor, one on top, and give this thing some good body weight checks. Make sure it feels smooth all the way through, like you've got hydraulic pressure up and down. Doesn't feel like there's air or none of that shit. That thing feels really goddamn good. This is definitely the only quality, this is the only real performing quality front suspension, suspension period that Harley Davidson ever put on a motorcycle. They didn't make it, Showa did. But when you put good fluid in it, 20 weight, it just, Phenomenal, man, when you set it up really nice.
Uh, and on that, I'm closing. That's how you rebuild a cartridge front end. You still gotta put the fender on, but you can figure that one out for yourself. Uh, if you got any questions, comment down below. I'll try and get to everybody that I can. My name's Ryan Cruzy. This is Cruzy Originals. You can go to cruzyoriginals.com for all your motorcycle needs. All the shit that's on here is on there for sale. And if you can't find it, call the shop, talk to Trent. He's a real helpful dude. And like, subscribe, ring that bell, and thank you. And remember, we also got a Patreon where all of our podcasts are at. And every $5 you pledge there enters you in a chance to win stuff. We're giving away a set of Legends Axio 49mm cartridge front end today. And then we're going to announce the next prize. And every two weeks or so, we're going to give a prize away. Stay posted. Peace.